This is one of my favorites. Turns your fingers into magic tools. Anyway, just saying it works. Hello, my name is Nanette Guile, and I'm a hairstylist at Exclamation Salon in Henderson, Nevada, where I specialize in styling. So today I'm here to share with you three fun, fast looks that you can do on your own hair at home that will take you to any wedding as a guest or any other special occasion for that matter. So the first is going to be a down do, then we'll have fun with a half up do, as well as a full up do. So let's not waste any time and let's get started. Now before we begin, I just want to share with you a pro tip. I shampooed my hair, even though it's a very, my hair is naturally very thick, with a volumizing shampoo. I use Curology Pure Volume because it enhances the volume and gives my hair an added bit of grip as well. So when you're up styling, grab yourself a little volumizing shampoo with some added texture. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is add a little more definition to these my natural waves so I get some air drying. We're gonna be taking out one and a quarter inch curling iron. I'm gonna be subdividing this right half of my head into three sections, vertically down. I'm just gonna come in nice and soft from the mid of that section. And I'm just gonna come in and give that a nice twist away from my face, giving it a, t a turn and a drop. This looks a little more relaxed of a curl, warming that all the way through and dropping that curl. So you keep, again, on the mid section, the second curl. And again, I'm just moving these out with my fingers like to build in the texture, coming in midway, about two inches out from the scalp, giving that a turn and a drop, and a turn and a drop, and a turn and a drop. The more I let it cool down in that shape, the better the curl is going to be, and now I'm going to continue on to the opposite side. Click and a turn. You can tell these get a little skinny, but that's what you want to get those undone nice waves that you see and let that go. Now I'm going to let those cool just for a moment, then I'm going to come in with Purology Shine Bright Taming Serum. Now the Shine Bright Taming Serum is a really cool product. It is a cream to serum formula and I'm going to be utilizing about a teeny size amount. It's turned into a nice shiny serum and now my hands are my tool. And even though I had some great beach texture before, now I have a little bit more defined curl, which I really love. I am going to come back one inch approximately at the hairline, starting at my part, and just draw an imaginary line, staying right on my scalp, and letting this hair fall forward so I reach the top of my ear. And once I'm at that point, I'm going to go back up to the part line and draw another line diagonally down so that my section now is approximately two inches wide back from the hairline. And I'm going to now take this full section and subdivide it about halfway through. And here's a little hot tip. We know that this piece, I want it to rest back and away. So I, I want to keep my hand position there instead of combing this hair forward and doing the next step. Because if I do that and then try to take it back, I'm going to get a buckle. Now I have my elastic, my small elastic in my hand, and I'm just going to come in here and pony. We're going to come in with the pony that I did pretty loose, and I left it out about two inches down from the part line. And we're just going to subdivide this in half with our pointer finger. And now I'm going to do that little top to tail trick to pick up the tail of that pony, flip it inside out. So once that flips inside out, I'm going to start to cinch my elastic and then grab another cool product. The next product I'm going to use, there it is. Mess It Up Texture Paste by Curology. This is one of my favorites. It turns your fingers into magic tools. Anyway, just saying it works. So it's this matte looking paste. And just a little jab will do you. Emulsify into my hand. And I'm going to come in and detail this piece and just pinch and pull. I'm going to come in with that bobby pin, small bobby pin, and just take it at the top of, just weave it through at the top of that elastic. And then where my hair was resting, I'm just going to push that all the way through to let, to let that hold. It's kind of hiding the bobby pin. So we're going to start with the first one and just come in. And the second one, because why is one when you can use two? We're gonna finish with our soft finish hairspray by Pureology. And there we have our first look. Our down do. 
This is going to be a half up look. And to get this started, you know, we we're utilizing the waves that we did in the first look. So to get started with this, we're going to be using that Refresh and Go Dry Shampoo from Curology. Love this so much. We're going to be coming in and giving one inch party and spraying right at the root. So you can see my hair already has a little more fluff going on to it at the base, which is what we want for this next look. You still need to get in there and massage your scalp. So we're going to come back from the part about three inches, the center of the head, coming around my head. And we're going to be coming here and just give it a little love with our fingers. So once I've got that smoothed out, I have my small elastic in my hand. Turn around here so hopefully you can see. I'm going to take the small section and I'm going to subdivide this in half organically, one in each hand. I'm going to cross over what's in this hand over this side and pick up the tail from this one. Once I've got that all smooth, I'm going to just tuck it inside and yes, create a knot. We're going to turn these pieces this way vertically and give it a nice little tuck. And then we're going to come down again with that hand, cross over with this hand always over on top of the other hand. Tuck that tail inside. And pull those pieces up and create a nice little knot. And then I'm going to secure with the elastic that I already had ready right for my hand. We're going to grab our mess it up texture paste, start to emulsify that in our hands, and then take a little dab of that Shine Bright Taming Serum. Remember, it's a, it was a cream to serum formula, and we're going to make that mix into our hands, because now we can come here and give everything a little pinch and a pull. Now, I'm going to take those knots and give them a little tug. I'm going to go back to the front and come in just in front of that last section with another one inch section, subdividing that off into a tail just about halfway, just above my here. Continue on the other side. Take these two ends and just below the knot that we did right here, create another knot. And we're going to repeat one more time. Up, over, inside, tie the knot, and then secure with the elastic. This is going to leave out some fringy money pieces. So I'm going to take this panel of hair and I'm just going to give it a little shake and a pull. And I'm just going to pull out the frothy frothy fun little pieces that are left. Once we have these two pieces, pick the other one up, take those back and around, spin around for you. And this time instead of knotting, we're just going to pull the two pieces together and wrap them below the last knot that we did and tie them off. I'm going to finish with our barrette. You know I have a lot of detail going on right here, so where I like to place my hair pieces is sometimes in the most unexpected spot. And there you have our half up do for a third and final look, the up style. To create this look, we're going to be using Curology's Texture Finishing Spray. I'm going to be taking about one inch parting and coming into the interior mid to end and spraying in this nice dry texture about six inches away from the hair. All right, so once that product's in the hair, we're going to be taking our fingers and just combing through the surface of our hair. So I'm pulling this hair straight back into a nice, loose, low pony to start. I'm going to spin around and show you that in just a second. Because we're going to want to use that top tool. Now typically, we do the top tool from vertically from top to bottom. But we're going to take this top tool and go horizontally with it. So we're going to Pull that um, this horizontally in the center of that pony. Drive behind the elastic to add the scalp because the pony's still in there. Now we're going to take the tail of the pony and push it through the topsy tool. See if we can't pull this ponytail inside out as it's so thick and long, so it might take me a second, but here we go. Before we do anything else, we're going to take this now and cinch it up just a little bit, bringing the elastic a little closer to the head, giving us that nice little push. Now once I have this in here, I'm going to take my pointer finger and my middle finger together and put them at the top of that pony, and I'm just going to wrap what's left of the ponytail around my fingers so I pop that whole thing up in my hand. And now I'm going to push it on top of the poxy tail piece that we made, band that whole thing out, holding it in place. And now we're going to secure, we're going to secure with my two inch bow. Is. A plain bun is fun, but it's more fun with accessories, so we are going to be adding those in a second. Fringe around the front is really fun. We could end up with just one piece, 
whatever vibe we're feeling. Or we could do the second money piece, which I'm going to do for today. And then I want to finish that with my soft finish hairspray. So that soft finish hairspray, if I just grab these and let this do its natural um, wave, spray it into my hand, give it a little nudge and a love. Now we're going to add our hair accessories. All right, and there you have it. Yeah, style. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate your time and joining us today. And we want to remind you to subscribe to hair.com for more fun education. And if you'd like, you can follow me as well on Instagram for more fun tips and tricks on styling hair at Nanette underscore Giles. Until next time, have a happy hair day.